Welcome to the spoken tutorial on kernel synchronization. In this tutorial, we will learn about synchronization techniques provided by Linux kernel, binary semaphore technique, and how to control the shared resource from concurrent access. In this tutorial, I am using VirtualBox 5.2. Ubuntu Linux 18.04 LTS operating system, Linux kernel version 5.0.0 hyphen 31 generic, gedit text editor. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C programming language and basics of Linux kernel. If not, then go through the C. C++ and Linux spoken tutorials on this website. Synchronization Mechanism It is a mechanism used to protect the shared resources from concurrent access. The kernel provides synchronization mechanisms for system and kernel programming. We will see the different types of kernel synchronization techniques. Atomic operations. It occur individually with no other operations occurring concurrently. Spin lock. These are used in code that is not permitted to sleep. Semaphore. This can be used to lock threads. Such threads sleep until they are activated again. Mutex. It is the same as binary semaphore. It prevents simultaneous activation of multiple threads. In this tutorial, we will see how to use binary semaphore. For example, the user program uwrite.c writes the data to the buffer. At the same time, another process, the uread.c tries to read the data from the same buffer. The semaphore will block the uread.c till the write operation is completed. Go to the device driver folder in the desktop, which we have created earlier. In this directory, I have created a directory named synchronization. Here, I have saved my underscore driver dot c driver file and make file. You read dot c and you write dot c are the user program files. I will use these files for demonstration. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. Open the terminal by pressing Alt, Ctrl and T keys simultaneously. Go to the directory where synchronization is saved on your system. Press Enter key after every command. Let us open my underscore driver dot C driver file. Type gedit space my underscore driver dot c. In this file, I have defined the open, read, write and close functions for new underscore device. We have to include the semaphore dot h header file. The semaphore related kernel functions are declared in this file. Delay.h file is included in which the kernel delay functions are defined. The struct semaphore is a structure that represents semaphores. We will use a semaphore lock to avoid the concurrent access. In the initialization function of the driver, the function SEMA underscore INIT is declared. This function is used 
to initialize the semaphore. The first parameter is a semaphore structure pointer. INT is the initial value assigned to the semaphore for the number of resources. LOCK is the semaphore structure pointer and 0 is the initial value of the semaphore. Let us see the important semaphore related functions provided by the kernel. The function down underscore interruptible in the read function attempts to acquire the given semaphore. It acquires the given semaphore with interruptible sleep. The initial value of semaphore is 0. So, down underscore interruptible function will decrement it. The value becomes less than 0. So, the user program which will try to read data will get blocked. The up function is used in the write function. It releases the semaphore and wakes a waiting task if any. This will release the semaphore again completing the write operation on the resource. Here the semaphore structure pointer is passed as a parameter. Now another user can acquire the semaphore and get access to the shared resource. Using semaphore, only one process can get the access of a shared resource at a time. Yes, sleep function is used so that the write function sleeps for some time. Practically, drivers should not go into sleep mode. You should not use yes sleep function in a driver. For demonstration purposes, I have used Yes, sleep to show the output. Save and close the file. Let us now open the user program uread.c. Type gedit space uread.c. This program opens the new underscore device file, reads data and closes the device file. Now, save and close the program. Next, let us open the user program uwrite.c. Type gedit space uwrite.c. This program opens the new underscore device file, writes data and closes the device file. Now, save and close the file. Clear the screen. Let us create a makefile to compile the driver. Type gedit space makefile. Type the code as shown here or you can use downloaded makefile. Save and close the file. Clear the screen. To be a super user, type sudo space su. Now type the system password. Let us compile the driver. Type make space all. Clear the screen. Now let's load the driver into the kernel. Type insmod space my underscore driver dot ko. Clear the screen. Let us see the loaded print k messages. Type dmesg command as shown here. The output shows that the semaphore is initialized successfully. Clear the screen. Now let us compile the two user programs. Type gcc hyphen c uread dot c space uwrite dot c. Type gcc hyphen o uread space you read dot o. Type gcc hyphen o. You write you write dot o. Clear the screen. Now let us execute the you write and you read user program in two terminals. Let us name this terminal 
as A. Open another terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously. Let us name this terminal as B. Go to the synchronization folder where you have saved the files. Now type sudo su and the password. Switch back to terminal A. Type dot slash u write in terminal A. Switch back to the terminal B. Type dot slash u read. Press the enter key in both the terminals to execute the program. After waiting for some time, we can see the output on both terminals. See the output in terminal A. The output shows that the Linux device driver string writes to the device successfully. Check the output in terminal B. It shows that the same string is read from the device successfully. Close the terminal B. Clear the screen. Type DMESG command as shown. The output message shows that the semaphore is acquired by the user ureadc. The user program ureadc is blocked by the unavailable semaphore. The user program ureadc writes data in a buffer and then releases semaphore. As soon as the semaphore releases, the ureadc acquires it. The output message shows that the ureadc program reads the data from the buffer. It indicates that at a time only one process is available to access the shared buffer. Clear the screen. Now let us unload the driver. Type rmmod space my underscore driver dot ko. With this, we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned synchronization techniques provided by the Linux kernel, binary semaphore technique, and how to control the shared resources from concurrent access. As an assignment, change the data in the uwrite.c, compile, load the driver, and execute the user programs. See the output using dmesg command, unload the driver from the kernel. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Do you have any general or technical questions on the embedded Linux device driver? Please visit the FOSSI forum and post your question. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD Government of India. This tutorial has been contributed by FOSSI and the Spoken Tutorial Project, IIT Bombay. This is Usha signing off. Thanks for watching.